हेलो आई एम मिसेस वैशाली सामंत आई इनवाइट यू ऑल टू सरस्वती ट्यूटोरियल्स इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियोस प्लीज शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब दोज वीडियोज ना आई सॉल्व सम डिफिकल्ट प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम इंटीग्रेशन So all these problems you try two three times then you'll remember the method. Problem is integration of dx upon sine x cos cube x dx. So what I will do here? This is important step. You should remember this step. You multiply and divide by cos x here. So this will become cos raised to four x. So this cos raised to four x when I'll take to numerator it will become sec square sec raised to four x, and this is tan x. So this sec raised to four x I will split up as sec square x into sec square x, and one sec square I'll keep as it is because I'll require that with dx. So this sec square I'll write it as one plus tan square x, and now I'll put t is equals to tan x. So if I'll put t is equals to tan x. <clears throat> dt will be sec square x dx, so this will become one plus t square upon t dt. This is dt. Separate the terms one upon t plus this upon this is t dt. One upon t integration is log t. Integration of t is t square by two plus c. Substitute back value of t. Don't simplify further. Keep it as it is. This is your answer. Now here there are some problems for. Uh, practice a hint is given somewhere answers are given here hint is given t is equal to sec x square plus three you substitute here for this two x minus one substitute t I have solved one problem same type of problem then you find out x and substitute x here this is important problem this is usually asked in the examination so what you have to do here in this problem I am giving you hint you take x raised to four common from this. If you will take x raised to four common, when it will come outside, it will remain x. And because I am taking x raised to four common, here one will remain, and here one upon x cube will remain to adjust the terms, because x raised to four into one upon x cube becomes x. Now this term cancels with this; it will become x raised to four. And now you substitute one minus one upon x cube is equals to t. So that will be same thing as one minus x x raised to minus three. You substitute. This answer is given. This is very important problem. This is usually asked in the examination. Next problem. For remaining problems also, hint is given here. You try here. Hint is given. What you have to substitute. Similar problem I have solved once. Uh, <coughs> this also. See here. X raised to e is of the type x raised to n. So its derivative is e x raised to e minus one, and then substitute t is equal to denominator. Its derivative you will get with dx. That value solve this problem. Answer is given here. This is very very important problem. Sometimes instead of two raised to x, it will be seven raised to x, e raised to x, anything. What you have to do if you want to substitute here, you know a raised to x derivative is a raised to x log a. So a raised to x should be in the numerator. So what I will do here. I'll multiply numerator and denominator by two raised to minus x. This is important step. Very important. This problem is very important. It is usually asked in the examination. So this will become two raised to minus x, and this into this will become two raised to minus x, and this into this will become two raised to zero. That is one. Now two raised to minus x. I'm bringing in the numerator. Otherwise, we cannot do anything. Substitute this is equal to t. So derivative will be two raised to minus x log two into derivative of this is minus dx. Derivative of this term is minus here. So two raised to minus x dx will become minus log t you bring here. So it will be this numerator will be equals to dt divided by log t with negative sign and this is t. And integration of one upon t is log t plus c. This is as it is. This is log two one upon Your minus one upon log two is there, huh? This is log two is there. This is log two. Sorry, I made mistake in writing. So this is minus one upon log two into log t. So t you substitute back. This will be the answer. This is very very important problem. Same method. If five raised to x is there, seven raised to x is there, e raised to x is there. Same method you have to follow. 
multiply by negative index and multiply and divide and then further you continue by the same this is also a very important problem this step is important you should remember certain problems you should remember the methods otherwise it is not possible dx divided by root of sin cube x sin of x plus alpha integration of that i will expand this sin of a plus b formula sin a cos b plus cos a sin b what i will do i'll take sin x common from here if i'll take sin x here it will become sin raised to 4x already it was 3 sin raised to 4x so only cos alpha will be there plus cos x is there so i will have to divide and multiply by sin x then only sin x we can take common no so the division will remain here so cos x upon sin x will become cot x sin alpha now this sin raised to 4x i will take outside the root sign it will become sin square x and shift it to the numerator it will become cos x square x dx so this will be this will be cos root of cos alpha plus cot x into sin alpha so put t whatever is there in the root sign but remember we are finding derivative with respect to x that time alpha becomes constant <coughs> so derivative of cos alpha will be zero and this sin alpha will be constant as it is and derivative of cot x is minus cos x square x dx here it is cos x square x dx is there Therefore, cos x square dx is dt divided by sin alpha with negative sign. You shift other terms, other side. And this will become minus 1 upon sin alpha dt from this and dt upon root t. That is t raised to minus half. t raised to minus 1 upon sin alpha t raised to minus half integration is t raised to half upon half plus c. Substitute back value of t. This will be your answer. Now this is also important problem, this also here, this step is important, starting is important, you should remember that method. I will multiply and divide by sin x, this will become sin square x, I will write it as 1 minus cos square x, now I will put t is equal to cos x, so dt will be minus sin x dx, so d, minus dt will be, see here, dt will be minus dt will be sin x dx. So, this sin x dx will become minus dt. This will be t raised to phi upon, this is 1 minus t square. Negative sign if I will take inside, it will become t square minus 1. Now, actually I will divide this by this. t raised to phi will divide by t square minus 1. First, I will have to take t raised to phi, t raised to phi minus t cube. Subtract, we will get t cube here. To cancel this, I will write here t. So, t into t square t cube minus t subtract will get plus t so this will be according to this this plus this upon this always so this plus this upon this integration of t cube is t raised to 4 by 4 with respect to t integration of t is t square by 2 and this is half of c here i will put y is equals to t square minus 1 because already x is there t is there i will take another variable y is equal to t square minus 1. So, dy will be 2t dt. So, dy by 2 will be t dt. So, for t dt, I will write dy by 2. This will be y. In these terms, as it is, integration of 1 upon y is log y plus c. Log y, y is t square minus 1 and t is cos x. So, it will become cos square x minus 1. These two terms as it is, but you substitute t is equal to cos x here. And modulus sign is there. So, cos square x minus 1 and 1 minus cos square, it will be same, no? So, 1 minus cos square is sin square x. So, this will be your answer. So, I will stop here and next time I will solve some more problems on this.